In the suffocating darkness of my bedroom, I lay paralyzed beneath the covers, the soft glow of moonlight casting grotesque shadows across the room. As I teetered on the precipice of sleep, a sinister scratching sound clawed its way into my consciousness. It slithered through the air, a malevolent whisper that crawled up my spine. Dread constricted my heart, and a frigid shudder consumed me. I squeezed my eyes shut, attempting to dismiss it as a figment of my imagination. But the scratching persisted, growing bolder and more unnerving. Fear sank its teeth into my mind as I conjured horrifying visions of the abomination lurking beneath my bed. With trembling hands, I fumbled for my phone and switched on the flashlight. Slowly, I lowered the trembling beam beneath the bed, illuminating the hidden abyss. And then, terror seized my veins. A pair of eyes, burning like fiery coals, stared back at me from the depths. The scratching intensified, accompanied by a low, guttural growl that echoed through the room. Dread gripped me, realizing that an unspeakable horror had sought refuge beneath my bed. Summoning a sliver of courage, I inched closer, the light revealing a monstrous entity unlike any nightmare. Its body contorted and twisted, its elongated limbs disjointed and unnatural. It hissed, revealing razor-sharp fangs dripping with insatiable hunger. The realization struck me. It was a creature forged in the depths of hell, a predator that had singled me out as its prey. In a frenzy, I recoiled, only for the creature to lunge from its hidden lair, its elongated limbs reaching out to ensnare me. A blood-curdling scream erupted from my throat, but it was drowned by its malevolent laughter. I bolted from the room, the creature hot on my heels, its bone-chilling growls reverberating through the desolate corridors of my home. As I fled, I pleaded with every fiber of my being to escape its clutches, praying that I would survive the horrifying encounter that awaited me. The night hung heavy, suffocating me with its oppressive stillness as I lay in bed, desperate for sleep's embrace. Just as my eyelids grew heavy, a faint tapping sound danced on the periphery of my senses. It tiptoed through the air, a spectral melody that seemed to emanate from the window. Intrigue mingled with unease, compelling me to approach the glass and peer into the abyss beyond. The sight that greeted me seized my breath. A figure draped in tattered rags stood on the other side, its face swallowed by darkness. The tapping continued, the figure's skeletal fingers tracing a grotesque pattern against the glass. Panic coiled within me, knowing that this was no ordinary visitor. With each tap, an icy gust slithered down my spine, as if the figure's touch penetrated the glass, poisoning my very soul. The tapping escalated into a frenzy, causing cracks to web across the window, the barrier between the figure and me weakening. I stumbled backward, my heart pounding, as the figure's visage emerged, hollowed eye sockets, an empty void, and a twisted smile that unleashed torrents of terror through my veins. Frantic, I searched for an escape, but the figure pressed against the glass, its ghastly form warping as it attempted to breach the barrier. The cracks multiplied, inching closer to shattering, and I knew that time dwindled rapidly. Fueled by adrenaline, I sprinted from the room, the cacophony of breaking glass a symphony of dread in my ears. As I fled, the figure's chilling laughter pursued me, a haunting reminder that its presence would forever haunt the recesses of my nightmares. I vowed never to glance out of another window at night, terrified of the horrors lurking beyond the fragile veil. The decrepit mansion loomed tall and menacing, its crumbling facade a testament to years of abandonment and decay. It whispered of dark curses and imprisoned spirits that prowled its halls. Driven by morbid curiosity, I dared to enter, a lone soul determined to unearth the harrowing truths that lay dormant within. The air inside the mansion clung to my skin like a funeral shroud, the faint stench of mildew and decay saturating my senses. As I ventured deeper into the dimly lit corridors, flickering candlelight casting sinister shadows, an icy breeze swept through the house snuffing out my sole source of illumination. Panic threatened to consume me as darkness enshrouded me, my heart hammering in my chest. A haunting whisper laced with sorrow and longing pierced the suffocating silence carried on a wind that seemed to materialize from the nether. It murmured tales of woe, weaving through the air like a mournful lament. Shadows danced along the peeling wallpaper, their movements aberrant and unnerving. Fear coiled within me, realizing that I was not alone. The mansion teemed with spirits of despair. From the corner of my eye, spectral apparitions flickered, 
their ethereal forms shifting and fading. They whispered their tragic stories, their voices a chorus of torment that echoed through the desolate halls. Their sorrow seeped into my bones, their presence consuming me. It was as though their agony had become my own. With each step, the oppressive atmosphere grew heavier, the spirits growing bolder in their endeavors to manifest their presence. They tugged at my clothes, their icy fingers grazing my flesh. Desperate to escape their spectral clutches, I sprinted toward the exit, the mansion seemingly alive, its creaking walls converging on me. As I burst through the front doors, the weight of the spirits lifted, leaving behind a lingering chill, an eternal reminder of the darkness that had ensnared my soul. Deep within the heart of the woods, an ancient burial ground lay concealed, its secrets entombed beneath the earth. Legend whispered that the restless dead prowled the woods at night, their ethereal forms seeking solace and vengeance. Driven by morbid fascination, I ventured into this forbidden realm, eager to unlock the enigmas that lay dormant. The moon cast an eerie pallor through the skeletal branches as I crossed into the hallowed ground, the air pregnant with an otherworldly presence. A bone-chilling wind rustled the leaves, their murmurs carrying a dire warning. Undeterred, I pressed forward, my footsteps muffled by a carpet of decaying foliage. As I delved deeper into the woods, the temperature plummeted, the silence growing suffocating. A wispy mist began to slither from the ground, cloaking the graves in a spectral haze. Shapes materialized within the mist, phantom figures emerging from the darkness. Their eyes burned with an unholy radiance, fixated on me with a hunger unquenched. Whispers swirled in the air, a cacophony of disembodied voices that seemed to emanate from all directions. The spirits bared their forgotten sorrows and unfulfilled desires, their words dripping with despair and anguish. Their mournful wails reverberated through the night, sending tremors of dread down my spine. Dread constricted my chest as the spirits closed in, their presence overwhelming. I could feel their icy touch, like the touch of a thousand icy needles piercing my flesh. Their yearning for release consumed me threatening to shatter my fragile sanity. With each step, the spirits grew more agitated, their ethereal forms intermingling with the mist. They reached out, desperate to make contact, their moans reverberating in my ears. Overwhelmed by their anguish, I fled from the burial ground, their tortured cries fading into the distance. But their presence lingered, an eternal reminder of the depths of sorrow endured by the restless dead. I pledge never to return to that accursed place, knowing that the spirits would forever haunt my dreams. Atop the desolate hill stood a dilapidated house, its decaying silhouette etched against the moonlit sky. Locals spoke of the malevolent spirit dwelling within, warning of its vengeful nature. Intrigued by the tales, I ventured inside, my heart pounding with both trepidation and anticipation. Stepping over the threshold, a heavy silence descended, the air thick with an oppressive energy. The house seemed to inhale and exhale, its walls pulsating with a sinister force. Shadows writhed along the faded wallpaper, their movements unsettling and unnatural. As I explored the dimly lit rooms, the sensation of being watched gripped me. Every corner concealed a hidden presence, an entity that seemed to feed on fear. Footsteps echoed through the empty halls, growing louder with each passing moment. Panic seized me as I realized I was not alone. A frigid gust of wind howled through the house, rattling the windows and extinguishing the feeble candles lining the corridors. The temperature plummeted, my breath crystallizing in the air. Darkness enveloped the room, only to reveal the shadows coalescing into a menacing figure. A specter draped in inky darkness. Its eyes glimmered with a malevolent light, fixated on me with an intensity that sent primal terror coursing through my veins. The specter's laughter pierced the silence, a haunting melody that resonated deep within my soul. It reached out, its ethereal fingers grazing my skin, its touch an icy burn. Driven by sheer desperation, I sprinted toward the exit, stumbling through the encroaching darkness. Yet the house seemed to conspire against me, its labyrinthine corridors shifting and warping, trapping me within its macabre embrace. The specter's laughter echoed through the halls, growing ever more deranged and maddening. With a surge of adrenaline, I broke free from the house's clutches, stumbling out into the moonlit night. But the specter's presence pursued me, its haunting laughter trailing behind. 
a chilling reminder that some horrors cannot be escaped. As I gazed back at the house, I vowed never to return, knowing that the malevolent spirit would forever torment my dreams, a specter of the night that would forever haunt my tormented soul.